What's up you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Crispy On. As you guys can see behind me, it is raining. Uh, and I'm stuck inside the house with this coronavirus thing going on, which is perfectly fine. Listen, if we are going to beat this, we got to follow the instructions of what the professionals are saying. And I completely understand that. I was supposed to go hunting. I was getting the rig out and it started to rain. And I figured I might as well stay home, not go out, get sick. You just never know, you know, it's just one of those things where like better play safe than sorry. So I went on Instagram and I asked a bunch of you guys to send me some questions that you guys wanted me to answer for this video. So I'm going to go sit on my desk, set the camera up and answer all the questions. Well, I don't know about all, but I'm going to try to answer as many as I can um, and, you know, give you guys some insight into whatever it is that you guys are asking. So. Let me go set this up. Let's do it. And make sure you're staying inside your house, all right? <laughs> all right, let's do this. All right, guys, let's get into this right away. I am gonna open up my Instagram and see the questions you guys have asked me, and then I'm gonna try to answer them to the best of my abilities. So let's do this. Let's see what the first one is, and here we go. <laughs> Will you ever come to South Africa? You're trying to make me cry, bro, because May 14th is the day that I got hurt in the uh, in the service. May 14th of 2006 was when I got blown up. And every year I always try to do something epic, like something to celebrate the fact that I'm here, that I'm alive, that I get to wake up and breathe this beautiful freaking American air. Every single year I try to do something great. This year, we had plans to be in Africa. I was supposed to come to Africa and uh, do a little bit of hunting with some friends. And unfortunately, because of the situation that we are all currently in, I am not gonna be able to come to South Africa. We are gonna have to reschedule our trip. And now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for my, uh, for my anniversary. So, I don't know. I honestly don't know uh, when I'll be able to go back to South Africa, but I can't believe that was the first question. That one hurt right here. Ugh, like, ugh. <laughs> Stupid coronavirus. All right, let me get on to the second question because this one is just, it just hurts, you know, it just hurts. All right, let's see. Uh, number two, what is your favorite gum? I don't know if I have a favorite gum. I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, I just, if you give me gum, I'm gonna chew it. I think he meant to ask gun, but it said it says gum. So I'm gonna answer it. Uh, I don't have a favorite type of gum, buddy. So make sure you double check your, uh, your, your, your question before you send it off. All right, let's do another one. Your go-to rifle for home defense. Um, you know, <clears throat> it, it, it depends. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have a couple of different options in my safes, and I tend to switch it off every other week. Um, so I'll switch off from like, uh, from an AR-9 to, you know, your standard AR-15. Uh, sometimes I rock a shotgun. Sometimes uh, I'll have an AK in the house. I don't really have a to go. I have what I pick uh, that week. So I hope that answered your question, man. And I, uh, I don't know. I, I, I just, I switch them off so much that I don't have a to go to. So sorry about that. All right, let's answer another one. Sorry for the noise uh, in the background of the vehicle is driving through. I'm doing this in the garage um, because Kristen, my fiance, that you guys know as Miss Crispy, is currently inside the house uh, on her laptop. She is a high school teacher and she is having conference calls with students and teachers and everything else you can think of. And they're coming up with a plan for all those that um, all those kids that can't go to school and are going to graduate this year and everybody else so that's why i'm doing it out here i'm sorry for the noise guys i apologize 
All right, let's do another question. <clears throat> What's your favorite game meet? Oh man, that's a tough one. Um, I'm currently out of this game meet and uh, I can't wait to go on this hunt again, but my favorite, favorite, favorite game meet so far is Moose. Um, a couple years ago, I wanna say about three years ago, almost three years ago, man, it's, it's gone by really quick. Almost three years ago, uh, I went to Alaska with my father and we shared the experience and I was blessed enough to hunt a moose with my dad. And man, it was awesome. We, we had a blast and to top it off, the meat was just super delicious, rich. And like, I, I can't describe it. It was just amazing. Even Kristen loves it. Like she told me like long, long ago, she's like, when are you gonna go on another moose hunt? Bring some more moose meat back home. And I was like, you got it, honey. You asked me to go hunt, I'm gonna go hunt every single day if I could. So, moose. All right, <clears throat> let's see what else you got here. Let me see for you. Uh, how, how many guns do you have, not including your arms? <laughs> That's a funny one. Um, man, I, I don't know how many guns I own, to be honest with you. I lost count at 106. Um, yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Next question. Why did you choose the Army and not the Marines? Um, <laughs> it's funny you should ask. I actually walked into the Marine recruiting office first. And um, when I walked in, I, I asked the recruiter, like, hey man, like, you know, uh, I can't even remember what it was. It was a simple question, like, can I move up the ranks and, and the Marine Corps, like, you know, to be like in the special forces community and all this stuff. Like, it was just very, very simple questions. And the guy goes, while you're asking all these questions, it should be an honor to be called a Marine. <clears throat> and at the time, you know, I, I, I wanted to join and and this is no disrespect to all the other guys that don't have a combat MOS. I did not want to join the service and be stuck with a job where I wasn't gonna be able to be in the front lines, if that makes any sense. I wanted to go fight. I wanted to go make a difference. I wanted to go and do a job that was gonna be in the front lines. I didn't want to be a cook. I didn't want to be uh, a, a, a clerk. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to do none of those jobs. I wanted to actually pick up a rifle and go fight. There, there's this big misconception that everybody that joins and serves, they're like, they, everybody thinks that they're in the front lines and they're out like fighting the enemy and they're not. I hate to break it to you guys, but I'm going to be brutally honest. Uh, out of the out of the service members, 1% of everybody that joins, 1% of us actually see combat. Yeah, I know, it's hard to take that in, but 1% of us take, 1% uh, of us actually see combat, and I wanted to see combat, I wanted to fight, I wanted to make a difference, and I just wasn't getting that from the Marine Corps because I wanted to be an infantryman, and they were like, you know, they'll give you your job when you get there, or whatever, I don't even remember what it was, but he, he just he just pretty much said like it should be an honor to be called a Marine and I was like <laughs> I'm out uh, walked over next door to the uh, army uh, to the army uh, recruiting station and I was like hey man like I want to be infantry uh, down the line I was like I want to be infantry first first of all I want to go infantry I want to have uh, a, a couple of deployments under my belt and then I want the option to go special forces or into a ranger battalion. And he's like, yeah, cool. Here's your uh, infantry contract and airborne contract. And once you want to apply, you have this contract where you can go and do it. That's what I like about the army. You can actually move up and do stuff in, 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 in the army. You, you can go want to be a ranger or be special forces or do these other jobs. And the Marine Corps wasn't giving me that. They were like, no, like we're, we can't promise you that. So that's ultimately why I chose to go to the Marine Corps because I mean to the Army because I wanted to be in the front lines and actually fight. So again, no disrespect to all those of you that join and, and you know went to combat but never saw combat and you call yourself a combat veteran. Uh, 
no disrespect to you guys, but to me, it was important to be in the front lines. It was important for me to actually see the enemy, engage them, and take them out. So that's why I chose the Army over the Marine Corps. Hope that explained it to you. Sorry I got super deep on that question, but you know how it is. <laughs> um, oh man, they got all mixed up again. Um, how old were you when you joined the Army? I was 18 years old. 18. I was a young pup. Did Carol Baskin really kill her husband? <laughs> if you've been under a rock and have not been watching Netflix and haven't seen Tiger King, you need to get your stuff together and go watch it. Um, and then this, this answer is going to make sense. You know, there's a lot of things in that documentary that point to her actually doing it. And I think she did it. If you look at her... She's got a crazy look in her eye. Like, this lady is not all there. Um, none of the, I don't think any of the freaking characters on that show are all there. There's just something with people and big cats and something psychologically going on there that I don't think a lot of them are right in the head. So, yes, I think she did it. <clears throat> Let me see. What else? What else? You want to go duck hunting with us in November once all this coronavirus junk is over? <laughs> uh, yes, I definitely do. Um, I've always said this. I said the day that I get kidnapped or I go missing is because I went hunting with somebody that invited me online and I took them up on their offer and I disappeared. <laughs> uh, what has been your favorite hunt? Obviously, it's besides the pig hunt at the ranch. <laughs> oh, man, my friend's talking smack already. Um, like I said earlier, my favorite hunt so far, um, <clears throat> man, I have, I, I just, it's so hard to, um, to pick a favorite because I've done some amazing hunts in my life and, and I cherish them all, but I think hunting with my dad my brother uh, have been some of my most memorable and favorite hunts. So, uh, any hunt that I've ever done with with close friends and family, those are my favorite hunts. What motor are you going with? Man, that's a hard question. I don't know if I want to answer that on this one. <laughs> um, for those of you guys that don't know, I have a 1966 Chevelle Super Sport, and uh, it's been a constant constant struggle to find somebody to actually work on this car and we finally found somebody that's worthy um, got the car painted um, and I'm not gonna give it away on this video yet because we are supposed to be filming it soon and then I'll let you guys in on all of that but I can tell you that I painted the car black and that's it <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say for now all right let's let's go on to the next question uh, uh what have you been doing to pass the time during quarantine answering your questions <laughs> oh man what pistols or handguns would you recommend for a new user um so here's the thing <clears throat> and this goes out to everybody watching that owns a handgun and to those that don't own a handgun okay and i hope this comes off the right way um uh, man, how do I say this? Um, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you to buy a $5,000 handgun uh, when you don't have the funds uh, because I told you to. Um, to be honest with you, every time I get this question, I always tell people, do yourself a favor, go to your local gun store, ask to see what you like, hold it in your hands, and see how it feels. Now, if you like the field, a lot of these gun stores actually have rentals that you can go and rent that handgun, shoot it, see how it feels, and then buy your handgun. Don't go off of what I'm telling you guys, and don't go off what these other influencers tell you that, oh, this is the best handgun in the market because uh, they sponsor me. <laughs> I mean, let's just be clearly blunt about this. A lot of these guys do that kind of things, and I'm not going to sit here and tell you to like, buy an expensive handgun when you don't need it. Um, if this is gonna be your first handgun, um, go with something that feels good in your hands, something that you can afford and that's in your budget, and then go off of that. And then once you start getting better, you know, then you can start purchasing other things, other handguns that are, you know, you're gonna notice uh, 
slight cuts. You're gonna notice that they have better triggers. Um, you know, they're milled for you to put on a red dot, all those other good things. But for now, um, I think you should go and talk to somebody in your local gun store and see what you need. And for those of you um, that bought a handgun for the first time during these, these troubling times with this coronavirus, um, I know the 2A gun community um, likes to say that they're very supportive and everything, but me coming from that community, um, I gotta be honest with you guys, I've been watching a lot of things online and how people are um, attacking first gun owners that weren't necessarily gun owners in the beginning. Um, they bought one because they realized that now they gotta protect their families, they gotta protect their loved ones, and they gotta protect themselves. So I applaud you for taking the step to purchase a gun, and you could have been one of those that's against uh, guns, but now you find yourself buying one. Listen, it's your right as an American, now you can see that responsible gun owners aren't the ones that are out there causing harm or or, or, or using their tool, which is a tool, uh, against others unless they need to protect themselves. And I welcome you to the community because it's people like you that are gonna, that are finally seeing why it is that we purchase, you know, uh, all the guns that we purchase and why we why we have them. So, if I can give you new gun owners an advice is please, please watch a lot of YouTube videos. I know right now you can't go out and about and get a class from uh, an instructor anywhere, but there's a lot of great videos out there of instructors showing you how to use the, the handgun properly. So do yourself a favor. Go watch all those videos and thank you and welcome to the 2A community. So, yeah. Man, a lot of these questions are about almost the same, so. Uh, no, have you ever hunted in Minnesota? I have not. I've never hunted in Minnesota, but I, I hope one day I can, because um, I would love to hunt in every state of this beautiful country of ours. Uh, what else? Why isn't Miss Crispy in any of your videos? Um, man, I'll be honest with you guys. For the most part, I we try to keep our personal life off the camera. Um, just a, I don't know. It's, it's not even like on purpose or anything. We just, you know, we're both in different professions and we both do different things and. When I'm with her, um, I spend all my time with her. I'm not trying to create any content or anything because, you know, I, I value the times that we get with one another um, because we're both so busy with our careers. Um, and and there's just certain things that you want to keep personal, you know? I don't, I don't know. Um, I, I've seen a lot of these other guys that, uh, um, <laughs> I'm not even gonna get into it. I'm not, I'm not even gonna get into it, but, we just keep our personal lives um, private, and um, you know she has her own Instagram. You can go check it out, the real Miss Crispy. Um, but I mean, I, I put her on my stuff from time to time. It's just we like to keep it personal, guys. And her being a teacher, you know, you you don't you don't want to put out stuff or videos or things like that with her in it, and then you can have one of these students use that against her in her classroom or bring it up or you just never know man i just don't want to put her in that situation um so that's why she's not in a lot of the videos i just don't want to put her in a situation that's going to jeopardize her career as a teacher um and let's be honest there's a lot of kids that uh can be a-holes so we'll leave it at that Any collab videos with anyone anytime soon. Um, I was actually supposed to go fishing with Lunkers TV, Rob. Uh, I was supposed to go hunt with Mullet Man today, actually. He called me a little while ago to invite me to go turkey hunting, and I had to pass 
Um, we just had our first coronavirus uh, infected person in town, so um, couldn't do that. So I'm trying to stay inside the house. So th there will be a lot more collab videos uh, in the future, just so you guys know. Do you need a license to to have an air rifle? You do not. Um, it ships to your door and another thing is you can put silencers on your air rifles and they don't have to be registered so what are you waiting on for man quit being loud what are you waiting for go get yourself an air rifle would you ever go on a red stag hunt i've been on a red stag hunt a couple times it's awesome love the meat it's very very delicious so yeah i'll go on another one All right, well, those are most all the questions that I got. Um, everything else is people just repeating themselves over and over and over. Um, you know, I hope that gave you some sort of insight uh, into my life and to the things that I do. Um, honestly, I sincerely appreciate every single one of you guys. Uh, listen, please stay in your houses. I know I joke a, a lot on Instagram about, you know, not being home and making fun of National Guards and men and everybody. And I'll be honest with you, um, they're doing a hell of a job and it wouldn't be me if I wouldn't make fun of them because that's what we do. That's a rivalry that's been going on ever since the service has been around, you know. Um, National Guard men getting made fun of by active duty. It's just what happens. But we, we appreciate the stuff that you guys are doing. We really take your, we take you guys very, very serious. So um, there's that. But honestly, guys, stay indoors. Don't go outside if you don't need to go outside. Stay safe. Please stay safe. Do it for your families and do it for those around you. Um, that's all I got for this episode, man. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I hope it gave you an insight into my life. Um, you know, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please do me a favor. Please like, comment, and subscribe on it. And until next time, crispy on. I think I need to go get a haircut and shave because look at this. Look at this. All right, I'm out of here.